the Christopher Ward bell canto. It brings me great pleasure to say this is our review. So let's talk about it. But first, I'm not a watch expert, I'm just a watch nerd, so if I say anything just wrong, contentious, or you just want to fight me or compliment me down in the comments, then go down there, do it. And whilst you're down there, why not like, subscribe, ding that bell icon so you never miss another video. And why not consider clicking that join button, becoming a channel member? That would be amazing. Let me tell you a little bit of a story first. From the very first moment we started with working with Christopher Ward on some of these projects, I asked Andrew, Andy, over at Christopher Ward if we could borrow a bell counter. At the time, they had none available. Completely understandable. I think everyone and their dog wants to review a bell canto. When the big red one, Andrew Morgan's watch, was unveiled, we were one of the very first channels, one of the very first places to unveil a piece on that watch. And Andrew Morgan himself, that Daddy Morgan, shared our video, thank you very much, on his community page. I had a couple too many beers that night and I emailed Andy over at Christopher Ward and said, now that Andrew Morgan's commented on our video and sh shared it. Could we get one of the big red one bell cantos to review? And he went, there aren't any to review. But we've got a lot, lot of love for you guys over at Watch Yourself George, and we'd like to offer you the chance to review a bell canto, Rosa Dial, and he knows me well, he knows me very well, so he knows I'd want to review it on a bracelet. So let's talk about it. So the Bell Canto is a watch. I need to be completely honest. It's a watch I've got a lot of personal feeling for. One, my first ever watch finder video that I saw, my first ever exposure to Christopher Ward was seeing Andrew Morgan's watch finder video for the Bell Canto. And that was one of my first times really massively falling down this watch rabbit hole. And I was amazed at the value and everything that this watch offers. So before I gush anymore, before we go into any more of it, let me tell you the specs. It's not a small watch. It's a 41 millimeter case and it's 13 millimeters thick. So it's hefty. It's It's got some heft to it when it comes to sizing. The lug to lug, so the lug length is 48 millimeter. But when I say it's hefty, it's definitely not a heavy watch, not at all. And the reason for that is the grade five titanium case. Why is the case titanium? Why have they made that choice? Well, that's because it's less dense and apparently it reverberates better. Same with the solid titanium case back. Both of those choices were made because it reverberates better with the chime. We'll get into the chime in a bit. It's beautiful. Obviously, we also made the choice to review this watch on a bracelet because you should always buy your Christopher Wards on a bracelet. Any watch, buy it on a bracelet. It's so much easier to get a third party strap than it is to buy a bracelet after the fact. So much easier. Wisdom. So the bracelet is really nice. It's got a absolutely lovely taper and it does also have a micro adjust. Now, this is my first and probably one of my only pieces of constructive feedback regarding this watch. The micro adjust, I mean, it's decent, but it's it's one of the trickier, much more, much stiffer micro adjusts on a crystal ward that we've had to operate. The best one was on the C63 Sealander. That was the best micro adjust on a Chris Ward that we've had. This one, I mean, it's still good. It's still good to have that full range micro adjust, but it's just not smooth. It's not as smooth. It's a bit stiff. It's just a bit tricky. In terms of the bracelet construction itself, it's single screw construction with titanium screws, and it's great. The bracelet is grade two titanium as opposed to grade five on the case. So you will find it scratches a bit easier, but to be honest, it's the same grade titanium as a Pelagos. So I'm not really complaining about the grade of titanium because um, you're still getting grade five on the case as opposed to grade two titanium on the case on a Pelagos. So you're still getting really good value for money there. So we appreciate it. Let's discuss a few more things bef before we get on to what you all want to know about which is the chiming, obviously. Back to the case for a moment. It's 30 meters water resistant. To be honest, if you're the sort of person who wants to take a chiming watch that looks like this, diving or swimming, please get your head examined. <laughs> 
in all honesty. 30 meters water resistant. So it'll service you if you want to wear it in the rain or wash your hands with it or anything. It's a chiming watch. Are you really going to ask for it to be like a diver? I mean, it would be nice. I mean, that would be phenomenal. But I think in a sensible world, it can't really be expected. Talking about the accuracy for a moment, you're not getting this watch for the accuracy. It's accurate to minus or plus 20 seconds a day, um, which is sort of Christopher Ward's baseline. Bearing in mind, this is also like a £3,000 plus watch, might even be £3,500 on the bracelet. So it's not the most accurate thing in the world. But again, you're buying it for the chime, which we'll get onto in a bit. And with the titanium construction, you're buying it for the looks. You're not buying it as a timekeeper. It doesn't even have a seconds hand, so you don't even know the deviation a day. You're not gonna read the seconds hand to tell because it's a two-hander with an hourly chime. So it being off a bit each day isn't really gonna bother me. One thing I do wish that was a bit better is the power reserve, it's 38 hours. Again, that's a baseline across Christopher Ward's collection. But again, it's a watch that's all about the looks. It's all about the ding-ding, okay? It's all about the chime chime, ka-ching, what am I saying? Um, <laughs> it's not a spec focused watch. Everything has been, putting, been put into the finishing of that dial and the engineering of that summary or passage. This watch features the FS01 chiming movement. What is that? It was created by Chris Ward's technical director, Frank Stelzer. The caliber F S01 is an ingenious modified movement with Chris Ward's DNA in every single cog and spring. I am reading this. This isn't, this isn't my words. They realized that Chris Ward's jumping hour movement could be adapted to create a chiming sound on the hour every hour. So they've essentially adapted the mechanism for a date change, for a jumping date change, to make the watch chime. And that is absolutely ingenious. They've added more than 60 new components to form the striking mechanism, which sits atop a Salita SW200-1 base movement. So that explains the specs behind it. But then they've added more than 60 components to facilitate the chime and what a chime it is. So I have to say as well, when it comes to the chiming mechanism, the hammer, all of those features on the dial are actually hand finished, which is incredible. So Terry, shall we make it chime? Let's make it chime, baby. Honestly, I love that noise. Mm. For the first 20, 25 minutes of each hour, you can press the button to stop the chime because that is a feature on this watch. You can press a button to stop it chiming if you find it annoying you somehow. And if you repress it, you can make it chime. Honestly, so we've been wearing this watch between us for quite a few weeks now at this point. I've never once wanted it to stop chiming. Even at night, if I was just laying in bed and I heard it chime, it made me smile. I loved it. It's lovely. What about you, Terry? Did you ever make it stop chiming? Only when recording these videos. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. No, I loved it, to be fair. Yeah, it, it, honestly, in my experience wearing this watch, which has at this point been fairly extensive, every single time I've heard it chime, it made me smile. My coworkers, it made them smile if they heard it. It's such a nice, soothing, happy noise, facilitated by that big, bell that wraps around the bottom of the dial like a smile. Ah, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. And I have to say the dial is so well thought out. So your actual time telling aspect of it is a floating dial section, which looks lovely and is actually loomed. Both the hands and the indices are loomed. As I said, you're not gonna be diving with it, but it's even something, as I said, they just went balls to the walls with the aesthetics and they actually wanted to make it usable as well. So I've been getting into bed numerous times whilst wearing this watch and I've been able to read it in the pitch black and that's lovely. That's really nice. Is this the color I'd go for? Probably not, but I've fallen in love with this color. I'd probably go for black, just so it turns into a strap monster, to be honest, because I think this would be a strap monster on the black. Or if I was feeling adventurous, I'd go for the ice blue, but 
the rosa. It's like a champagne peach color. That's how I describe it. I'd say champagne. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a slightly pinky. So it's a peachy champagne. It's like a, it's, it's like a light rosé colour. A watered down rosé. A watered down rosé colour, if you if you wanted to describe it in the, the context of wine. And honestly, it's a beautiful colour. Everyone I, that I've had look at it, even people who aren't particularly interested in watches, have said what a beautiful colour it is. My auntie, who doesn't really care about watches at all, she wears a Fitbit. I'm pretty sure, or an Apple Watch or something of that ilk. She asked me what I was wearing and when I showed her, she went, I really like that. Which it just shows how unique and interesting this watch is. I've had so many people ask about it, so many questions. And when I show them the chime, they're like, that's cool. My thoughts on this watch can be summed up with tech specs are lacking a bit. Construction wise, excellent, solid, light, lovely and wearable. And the aesthetics for the price are unbeaten and to get a chiming watch at three to four thousand pounds at all is phenomenal plus the lug length is actually really nice and at 41 millimeters and with a six and a half inch rest it just wears beautifully it's so light it's so comfortable honestly this has just made me really really want one chris reward can i keep it Please, or send me a black one instead. I'll send this back if you send me a black one. Can I keep the black one? Can I keep the black one? You might need to send one for Terry as well. <laughs> so. Do a green one. They did a limited green one. Maybe that could be the Watch Yourself George. One day, keep, keep an eye out. Um, but I doubt it. We're never gonna be as big as Andrew Morgan. But we can dream, Harold. Um, so yeah. Who's Harold? So what did you guys think of that video? What do you think of the watch? Oh, just looking at it. Terry's had it for a week, makes me smile. Whatever you think, pop your thoughts down in the comments. And whilst you're down there, why not like, subscribe, ding that bell icon so you never miss another video. And why not consider becoming a channel member, clicking that join button. And whilst we're on the subject of that, thank you very, very much to our channel members on screen. Now you guys are the absolute best. And to everyone else, you're the best too, and watch yourselves.